Hey guys, Mike from Exit Off Road. They're here in uh, Rockhampton, Queensland at Dobinson's headquarters, the Coil Spring Factory, Lee Springs. Kind of check it out, show you guys a little bit about what's going on here in Queensland, and uh, hope you enjoy. Machining area where the tool makers work to repair and do whatever's necessary on all the machining in here. Most of the tools in the shop are made here. The loose spring bending machines, so much other gear. It's pretty pretty remarkable. Very dirty job, it's super loud in here too. Custom-made coil bender made here. Hot coil wire will come out of the furnace right under here and get turned right here. It's off today, the fellow's not at work. That's the uh, older way of doing uh, heated coils. Pretty, pretty remarkable how much power and machine it takes to do this work.
those come out of truck, truck painting and they get scragged, fully compressed and brought back up, then they get measured to make sure that they're still within the specifications of the coil before they move on to the next step, which is powder coating. Coil goes inside this cage, get pressed down, that's what's called scragging. It sets the load on the coil. Then they have these devices here to quickly measure and they'll mark the free height of the spring and they'll pair it up with another one that suits the same free height. Then all of these are then waiting for powder and it depends on the color of the powder coat line of the day. Whether or not these springs go in right away or maybe they get put to the side. Those springs over there, I'll walk over there in a second, have to wait until that color is ready on the powder coat line. This is a, a raw spring that's been shot me. You see the little bumpy surface there? That has more surface area now for the powder coat to actually attach to. A lot of these will go back through the shop painter if they get set up for a day or two to get any rust and dirt off them. All of these here are common uh, Toyota front coils which get ground. They get ground at the top surface so they meet up with the uh, strut mount nice and smooth. You see these uh, have a fair bit of surface rust on them now but they were just made the other day. You can tell because this is shiny after they came off the grinders which is just over here. Now these will sit here until that colour is ready to powder coat. They'll get fed onto this line up right here, which I showed you before. Get fed up on here, the robot will pick them up and put it in the shop painting machine. The shop painting machine should steal shot at it from all angles and cleans it up and that's what makes it clean like this. So it goes from form and ground, set on there, shop painting, scrag, check, ready for powder coat, powder coat. Powder coat line goes all the way up and then through the oven. Pretty, uh, pretty tight system. Pretty recognizable Land Cruiser, rear Land Cruiser coil, such a large uh, diameter. They're ready to go on the hooks through the powder coater. The line is off right now, it's uh, lunchtime. And so basically, if you ever look under the tag that's on your coil spring, there's going to be a little mark. You can't powder coat under where the rod is, and the rod electrifies, puts a positive charge on the uh, spring, on the steel and then the powder coat is electri uh, negatively charged so it tracks to the coil spring before it goes through the oven. So yeah, all the coils are basically hung in the same position um, and ready for powder coat. It's pretty amazing how the surface of the area of the coil spring looks uh, before it goes through the powder coat. It's a really nice finish but unfortunately it's raw steel and really prone to uh, rusting. Oh, there's teal inside there.
tray. So nice. BMW locker box. Let me get a bit wider here. That's a very nice setup. It's got the big Dobinson spotties on it. All the bar works, Dobinsons. Snorkel and everything. How's this for a clamp? Look at this thing. <laughs> Scale of reference here. That thing is massive. Set your arc of each leaf. Yeah. And we've already chalked out where all like the centre boulders, you see the chalk on there? Oh, yeah. We've already chalked it out. Yeah. Uh, we've got well on each leaf. Right. If it's small up, we can punch it. Right. Um, so it just depends on the thickness and the size of what we're going to do. Yeah. Um, so it's a quicker punch. And then, yeah, just a basket for like, we've got a hard, you know how we've got a harder temper? Yeah. We've got here so it doesn't warp and move. That's just a nice and safe basket. And it just rolls up here, you see the paint stops and that stuff there. That portless thing there on my rollers there comes in, picks it up, puts it into this furnace here. And when it's hot in there, it brings it back out and dips it in the oil. Oh, wow. Go in the furnace for? Just till it's red hot. Depending on the size of the steel. If it's like small, I guess it's probably only like half an hour. If it's a big stuff, it might take an hour. It's probably not even half an hour.
hate from here. Custom leaves here, some trailer leaves and bigger truck leaves, heavier load, more lift, ready to go.